All right, so let's get started. Number one says, think back to the fossil you saw at the beginning of the lesson. They show this picture, but I don't know if that's the fossil that they're talking about. This is the fossil that was at the beginning of the lesson, this creature. So this is the picture that I'm going to be referring to when I answer number one, when they say the fossil at the beginning of the lesson. Explain what we can learn from the fossil. Be sure to do the following. I'm using these three bullet points to guide my answer. I'm going to show you how I formed my written response based on using these bullet points. Explain how the fossil represents the original organism. So how is this fossil showing the original thing that it was before? How is it representing it? It means how is it um, looking like that creature or animal? Or why does it look like that? That's my takeaway. Identify similar structures found in organisms today. So what things do you see that you see in animals today? And describe how the type of fossil and structures show where it lived. For this one specifically, I'm thinking either aquatic or terrestrial. Did it live on land or did it live in the water? So let's get started. First, explain how the fossil represents the original organism. This is how I answered that, that bullet point. The fossil at the beginning of the lesson, and since I'm having a powder ref, I'm going to indent. is the remains of an organism which is no longer alive. So how is it representing the original organism? This is its remains. This is what is left over after the creature has died. So the fossil at the beginning of the lesson is the of an organism. no longer living so now i'm moving on to the structures found and when we're talking about structures structure and function are the two words that we talk about structures would be the tail the legs the feet the neck the head um the toes those are structures what are their function is kind of how we determine if it's ter terrestrial or aquatic so I'm just going to name all of the structures that I saw in this fossil. I said this fossil has a long tail. Long toes. And a long neck. I also said it has a head that reminds me of a lizard. And that was me going through, I used two sentences to answer this bullet, identify similar structures. These structures are things that we see in plenty of different animals of today. So what type of fossil do we think this is? Where do we think that this organism lived? Based on the fact that it has feet, it has toes, um, I'm saying that this is a land fossil. This would be a terrestrial creature. So this is a terrestrial fossil. This is a terrestrial fossil because this animal has legs and feet. And feet to move on land. And that was my response. For number two, what do some fossils and modern day organisms have in common? Circle all that apply. So there's actually two answers here. The answers are they 
may be related. So when we look at fossils and modern day creatures, we think, wow, those creatures might be related in a lineage of it um, kind of transformed later down the line and changed a little bit. Like we looked at the um, Irish elk, I believe it was called, and it was very similar looking to a moose. So they may be related and also they may have similar body structures like my beautiful picture of the dolphin kind of resembling something like a um a plesiosaur yeah the plesiosaur so i said it looked kind of like dolphin because there were similar um structures on that creature they are the same age. Um, that doesn't make sense. Fossils in modern day organisms are definitely not the same age. And they all come from rock layers. That is not true because you can find fossils in other places besides rock layers. On the back, number three, which statement is true about fossils? Fossils can tell us what animals looked like millions of years ago. Fossils are never organisms that lived in the sea false because there are aquatic fossils. So I'm just going to cross that one off. Fossils found today are always terrestrial fossils. False because there are also aquatic fossils that we find as well. Fossils can tell us how animals become extinct. We don't really learn that information from the fossil. What we do learn about is what they looked like millions of years ago. Number four, which of the following would be evidence of the kind of environment a fossilized organism lived in? So in looking at a fossilized organism, what, what structures help us figure out where it lived? Flat paddle-like limbs and a broad tail with two fins. As soon as I hear fins or sea fins, I'm thinking that animal lived in the water. So I would be able to tell what environment it lived in. Jointed legs. We have jointed legs. So think about where your knee bends. That is a joint. And we use our legs to walk around on land. So that would be a clue. A long tail. Creatures like alligators have a long tail, but creatures like bearded dragons also have a long tail. They live in different environments. So a long tail wouldn't necessarily be able to help us identify the environment that an organism lives in. Um, a small head. You can't really tell where a creature is living based on the size of its head. So that is not an answer. Number five. You are digging in a desert in the mountains and find fossil imprints of ferns, like right here. Based on this, which type of environment did the mountain used to be? This is a tricky question. You have to remember this from the reading or go back and find that information. It was actually in Exploration 3 where we looked at the fern fossils and determined it was terrestrial. It actually said that a lot of ferns are in the rainforest and that is a warm and moist environment. So the answer is C. For number six, we're writing aquatic or terrestrial on each line to tell which type of environment the organism lived in. Fern is terrestrial. We just saw that in exploration three. I have no idea what this is. Even in my teacher's manual where the picture is in color, I still have no idea what that is. And they don't give us any description as to what it is. So just write aquatic. It's some type of aquatic thing, maybe a sponge. But I think that that's a really poor picture and it's really hard to tell what that even is. So just write aquatic. And here I am spelling aquatic wrong because, you know, it's me. That is actually um, a dinosaur fossil that would be terrestrial. I know the pictures are not the best. And then we have the ammonites, which are um, aquatic fossils. They are found in the water or were found in the water. All right, for the lesson roundup for A, we're going to choose the answer that best completes each sentence. 
Observing the structures of fossils allows scientists to make inferences about the way they died, they grew, they lived. They lived, the, that would be the answer. How did they live? Did they live in land? Did they live in water? What environment did they live in? All of that fun stuff. The next one, fossils show us that many organisms alive today, such as corals, are blank organisms that lived millions of years ago. The same as, similar to, nothing like, I'm gonna go with similar to. There are organisms, maybe that's what this weird picture is. Maybe it's coral, which is found in the ocean. Similar to, um, organisms today. The discovery of a fossil fern leaf may, means that the environment in that area was most likely a blank millions of years ago. The fern fossil. So if you're discovering the fern fossil, it means that that place was most likely a swamp because ferns like a moist, wet environment. For B, you see a fossil with a long, narrow skeleton. It has four limbs that look like flippers. I'm already thinking water. What can you infer about what kind, about the kind of animal this was and where it lived? I'm gonna try to answer these with just one sentence and be just as sure and to the point as possible. I'm going to infer that that animal um, lived in the water and four limbs that look like flippers and might be related to a dolphin. Uh, why am I always talking about dolphins? I don't know. I can infer this animal lived in water and could have looked like a does a dolphin have four limbs? I don't even know, guys. I'm spelling dolphin wrong. <laughs> All right, for C, scientists find a fossil that is millions of years old. Its body structure is similar to animals that are alive today. What can the scientists infer about the ancient animal and today's animals? The scientists should be able to infer that this ancient animal is related to animals of today if they have similar body structures. So the scientist can infer that the fossilized animal could be related to today's animals. One more. Why are fossils important in understanding Earth's past? Wow, you could say a million different things to answer that question. Fossils are important in understanding Earth's past because they help us to see what creatures existed in that time period. So, so this is kind of like a personal question. Why do you think is it is important to learn about fossils? So let's see. It is important to look at fossils. to understand what creatures existed in the past. And that is it for this video. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy and I miss you so much. Have a wonderful day.